Welcome, welcome everyone to Chesapeake TV, episode 211. Today is February 6th. Go, go, go. We're playing in a bullet tournament today, and I don't have time to tell you about that because it's going right now. Where is it? Right here. So I've got to play in it fast. Join. Uh, this is a tournament on the website lechess.org. It's a great website for playing chess, and it's five minute chess. I'm actually going to berserk here because the guy's unrated. Let's see if we can do this in 30 seconds. So it's a 30 seconds for me. What just happened? I still have a minute. Berserk is supposed to give me 30 seconds. Uh, maybe I moved before the Berserk arrived. Whoops, C6 is not what I meant to play. Doesn't matter, of course. Maybe I <laughs> clicked Berserk, and then I moved so fast that the server was like, well, you said to Berserk, but I got your move first, so I'm not going to permit that other thing. So we're going to win this game really, really fast and move on to game two. If we can, Bishop here is very powerful. I love it. I love it. Um... Let's move back in here so we can save the bishop in case of knight a4. Now I'll give up the bishop because he spent a lot of moves. Oh, okay, fine. Didn't care. I'm going to play c5 and get a great center. Let's do that right now. Got this open file. Open file here. He's running out of time, which I don't mind at all. Let's double the rooks here just to keep him under pressure. Not sure if this is a good idea, but with this move, I'm really going to open things up against him. Oh, look, a free pawn. I guess I'll take that. Yeah, so d4 here. The knight moves. Oh, you're so fancy. Except that's not very useful. Now I get this pawn. I couldn't take that, right? Because the pin. I'd lose my queen, but it doesn't matter, of course. Let's take another free pawn. Let's just not get checkmated here. That would be great. Um, your knight is so cool. I'm gonna move here. <laughs> kind of funny, but you're out of time. Good game. I should have berserked. As you can see, I still have 31 seconds. You can't see that's behind my face. But for some reason, the berserk didn't count. So we're, we're playing in the hourly bullet arena. It's a pretty small tournament. Um, there's just 67 people. Never mind. It's not small at all. Uh, first place has already finished two games and berserked one of them. So it's gonna take a whoops, a little bit of effort. I'm gonna berserk this against the 1500. Ready? Go. So I have 30 seconds to play the entire game. So I need to make some fast blunders here. Save the knight seems like a good idea. Pre-moves, a lot of pre-moves just to make sure that I get my moves out there. Uh, let's play this and this. It's safe. If he takes my knight, it's check. There we go, now it's not check, so I'll have to play more carefully here. <laughs> Everything has to be instantaneous with 30 seconds on the clock. Don't have much time. I think I can trap that knight now. There we go. Very good. Very good. Let's pre move that move. King up, I guess. It's not the right spot for the king now. It's right on the diagonal, but I don't have time to think about this stuff, so. Now let's double these rooks. Play the pin. Pre move the pin. Pretty fun. Not the perfect moves here, but it's still fun. Nineteen seconds against fourteen, and now I head on time. This is how you berserk in a one-minute game. Checkmate! Wow, Chesmus wins with thirty seconds against his opponent's one minute. That is how you do it. For those of you guys, do, guys tuning in for the first time, we broadcast three times a week, and they do not always play chess. Sometimes we play uh, crazy chess variants. But oh, fifteen hundred. Maybe I should have berserked against them too. Usually, I'm two thousand and ninety-two, so I um, have quite the rating. I should be able to beat these guys. 500 points below me? Seems possible, but I don't know if it's really true. But anyway, off to a great start in this tournament, so let's see how we, where we go from here. Should I castle queenside? That would be so much fun, and then crush him? Let's do it. I'm gonna actually just let my pawns get messed up here, and then go queenside. The bishop actually is kind of bad here. Okay, Sh should I go queenside? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna start marching this pawn down. It's so fun. Yeah, I'm queenside. Okay, now I'll march this pawn. Oh, it's it's a lost pawn, I suppose. But uh, if he doesn't take it, then it's not lost. He is getting some problems. I should have used my other rook on that move. Here I'm threatening checkmate. And there's checkmate. Oh, no, that's not checkmate. Oh, I'm a doofus. I'm a large doofus. What size doofus is that? I'm very large. Hmm. Okay, there goes my other rook. Okay, so now I've made some small errors uh, so far. Which could cost me a little bit. He's ahead only one rook now, so I'm doing better. 
has 28 seconds still. This is going to be hard to win. Definitely hard to win, but I do have it all closed up so this rook can't do anything, right? So great thinking, Chess Whiz. Let's go take that pawn. <laughs> oh no, I arrived a bit late. This is too bad. Okay, I got the exchange. Let's put the king this way. This is not good. We both promote. <laughs> Man, this is my lucky game, right? Oh, this is not a good ending, though. Oh, no, I got checkmated, but I had a queen. At least I promoted my opponent a queen. I bet most chess players would not even have that queen. That's how good I am. Let's mute the sound. Because uh, nose blowing is not the most pleasant sound. Guy missed checkmate. Hmm. So, so queen takes g7. Maybe not my smartest move that I've ever made, but uh, hey, it was a move at least. At least I made a move. Let's play a close Sicilian here. I like this bishop b5 and double his pawns up. Oh, I can't double it. Well, let's, let's just throw away f pawn. Oh, you could have taken that f pawn. You still can, man. Take that f pawn. Okay, queen takes, right? Well, let's just take the whole center. That can't be bad, can it? I've never played this queen takes c7 line before in my life that I can think of, but maybe I've done it without thinking. That could be true. I mean, basically, I do most things without thinking. So, ooh, this looks interesting. I'm pushing here because if b4 the knight moves and I'm not comfortable. So let's let's hone in on that square. Looks kind of fun. Um, rook c1, rook d1. Let's go rook d1 and maybe f5. So get some leverage here against the king. I'm looking for some attacking here. It's getting exciting. I got some knights in the center. I think the e pawn is hanging right now. This is probably a little sloppy of me, but uh, I can get away with that because I'm chess whiz. It's kind of fun. Oh, what's going on? Help. Or should I say help? Let's just keep taking things. Oh no, I lost my knight. That's not good, I guess. Not the best line. But from here, there are some, some attacks against the king. For sure. I mean, look at this. Now I'm threatening checkmate. This time it's really checkmate on g7, guys. Last time, maybe not checkmate. This time, def checkmate. So I'm looking forward to this nice checkmate here. The knight is not attacked twice, so that's a bit of a problem as compared to previously. What I mean by that is uh, I can't take it for free. What I do is I say, can I take my opponent's pieces for free? No. Oh, that's my queen. That's too bad. Yeah, I guess my quality of play is somewhat lacking this game as well. My only chance is to lose. That's not really a chance, is it? Why? Don't checkmate me, please. Saying please could help. No, he checkmates me on G2. This is not a good start for me, but hey, you can always do better than you've been doing, especially if you do really bad. So I'm, I'm appreciating this opportunity to do better. Move all my pieces one at a time. Guys, in the opening, you should just move each piece once. Don't be like, oh, I can move this again and make it better like this. Don't do that because it's better to just bring everything out and let everything work together. It's kind of like, I mean, think about like a football or basketball game. And by football, of course, I mean soccer because... That's what everybody means when they say football. Um, and you don't want to just send part of your team out and be like, oh, free queen, I'll just take that, right? You want to use your whole army or team in this case um, because that's better. I really appreciated that free queen, though. Could you send me another free queen? Maybe I should let him promote so he can give me another one. That would be nice. I would like two free queens. Let's just move these pieces up. Sea pawn hanging, I don't care because trades are fine. Let's just trade here and cut this off cut off the, the attack to that pawn anyway. Okay, so I had one queen. Is that enough? I'm not sure. Oh no, I'm under attack. Oh, nice defensive play. Defensive, and by that I mean a horrible defensive play. Oh, G3, stopping everything you're gonna do this game and the next. Bad luck for you. Let's put all the rooks here. Oh, I'm under attack. Is it my turn? Oh, it's my turn, okay, great. Right. Check. Take this. Check. <laughs> Man, you're in a windmill. Too bad it's a windmill where oh check. No, okay. So I'm gonna move my queen here and then checkmate him. Check and checkmate. Cool. Cool starry, bro. Looking very starry. If you look outside at night, you might notice. Unless it's too cloudy. 
So I'm 13th place. I just got to play fast, get some more zeros in there, and my number will go from seven points all the way to seven. I'm looking forward to that. Let's play against the co-pilot. He's a very similar rating to me. Now that I blunder away my rating down to 2060. So it's a, it's a very close game. Let's see what happens. Close it up a little bit. By that, I mean closed pawns. That's a closed position. The, the other pieces don't really matter. I mean, you can just look at the pawns. Oh, I'll take that, I guess, and then whoop, right up here. Maybe F4, F5, maybe F4, maybe not F4. Yeah, no, don't play F4. F4 stupid. Don't play F4. Definitely not. Okay, I'm not playing f4. Let's let's cover the f4 square with my queen and bishop. Whoa, what a move! I don't think you're doing very well, buddy. I like my position better. I got this move. It's pretty good looking. Handsome. Oh, I'm attacking a lot of things, aren't I? A couple of free things here. If you ask me, what are you doing, crazy, crazy? Oh, I should have taken something else for free, huh? Oh, well, one free thing is better than zero. I got a, a nice move here. Oh, no, I can't play it. Um, um, okay, I shouldn't throw that away. Uh, let's just try F3. Oh, fine, I'll take your free stuff if you insist. Man, this guy is like free stuff city. He doesn't want to give in. I don't maneuver the queen over here, I guess, or something like that. 30 seconds to 28. Wow, these were long chess games, don't you think? I'll take that and here. And um, here, maybe I shouldn't be wandering off into the boonies with my queen. Let's just take this open file. Okay, that was a dubious move. I mean, that would definitely be like question mark, exclamation mark. Not sure if queen c5 best in this position. I actually have a hypothesis that it was an error. How y'all dogs doing according to Ali Skagapes? Ali Skagapes. You guys put so many vowels in your names. I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to say your names. It's pathetic. And then the other half of you are all consonants. And it's just like, <laughs> can't even open your mouth when you're pronouncing the name. Very, very difficult. Mm, Pana Bobinik, I love it. Move the things. Uh, rook c1 and queen c2. I like doing this. Oh, yeah, look at that time saving move. Just add in one move instead of two. Fantastic. Now I'm going to. Um, and I'm going to. Um, move my other rook. And now I'm going to move my bishop here. What do you think of that? Is that cool? I'm going to trade my bishop. This is a stupid idea. Don't do this. When you have an isolated d-pawn, don't just trade your bishop for a knight because you need to be the attacker. And so if you're if you're like just, yeah, it's, that's not how you attack. So let's just do some more trades here. And rook up. Rook up. Might be picking up this pawn here. Let's take it with the rook. A trade there. I'm ahead of pawn. And uh, here, still ahead of pawn. 25 seconds to 42. That seems like it could, could be some kind of a deficit on my part. Yes, he's defensive. Let's push this. Oh, I need to cover the back rank. Ah. Okay, I'm defending that. Perfect. 17 seconds. I got to play fastly. Take me, please. <laughs> what are we doing? Take that and that. I'm behind you. Here comes my king. 10 seconds for the game. This is not good. Not a good time to have 10 seconds. Uh, against 25, this is very, very bad. I don't even care about what's on the board. 10 seconds is not enough seconds. I need more seconds. My plan is to take his rook. Watch this. Oh, I didn't get his rook, man. I, that was a blunder on my part. I thought it would be seven exclaim. He's going to be like, oh, I'll move my king or something, buddy. And then, pow, I'm taking that rook. Did not happen. Only 10 minutes left in the tournament. I'm so sad. That's a very short tournament. In fairness, Chesswiss has only two vowels in his name. Oh, no, a follower. Akinsat is following me? This is very dangerous. I'm going to move some pawns here in response to that. Oh, free pawn. This is fantastic. I love these pawns. They're just like blunder, blunder. I get so much better at chess when I take free stuff. I mean, like my chess skills, they go from average to superman. And that's not even a chess level, if you know what I mean. There's the, the international master. Then there's the international grandmaster. Then there's the takes free stuff on liechess.org. That's my level. It's very good. 
I'm, I'm glad to be at that level. Should I take his queen? Yes. So what am we looking at here? I got seven pawns. He's got six. That seems like more pawns for me. I mean, let me count again. Yep, seven pawns to six is pretty good for me. I like it. Uh, let's just keep moving things. I'll move this again. I'll just keep moving it, right? Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I moved it. Now here. Perfect. Just perfect play. Perfect. What about that move? Oh, no, my center. Bam, we got same color bishops, and you're going down. Going down. Don't don't blunder. That's, that's my strat right now. Don't blunder. It's a pretty good strat. I mean, I invented it myself. I don't always execute it, but I came up with the idea. Now king. It's two rooks against two rooks, but look at all that time on the clock. It's like it's ten times more time than I had when I blundered my rook last game. It's better. Um, take that for free. Let's go checkmate him, I guess. Okay, I'll checkmate you now. This is interesting and better for me. Yeah, definitely checkmate him. It sounds good to me. What are you doing? I guess I'll, yeah, I'll just promote a pawn into a queen. You know, I should promote to a rook. I hope I can. Rook would win. That's why I'm going to do it, because it would win. Oops, he could have just taken me. Rook! Oh, I can't make a rook. Okay, I'm going to stalemate you. And then walk closer. I'm coming for you! <laughs> Chess whiz is a clipped prick. Oh, no. I think I need to ban this guy. That's not very nice to say. Time out for 600 seconds. Take that. First time at your stream. Very entertaining. Thank you, Joe Sonic. Did you know this is episode 200 and a million right now? I have been streaming since before I was born, and you finally found me? That's crazy. Why don't you search the internet for Chesswiz and notice all those other episodes that are no fun to watch because you can't type in the chat and be like, Chesswiz, you forgot to shave. You can't do that on the YouTube video. I will not reply. I mean, you could say that all you want. I will totally say absolutely nothing about whether or not I've shaved. Um, in those videos, although in this video I'm totally saying that. So if you say that to the YouTube to the YouTube screen right now, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll be like, yes, you're right. I I did forget to shave. Thank you for pointing that out. That that could work. I keep trying to play my night out, right? I mean, is this a good move? No, but I I'm mousing over it. Um, this is much better. Yes, knight g8, very strong. And by that I mean it can lift. Oh. Never mind, this isn't very strong. I just noticed a move for him that, that gives him an advantage. But if he can't get past my pawns, he can't beat me. That's the new plan. He will never defeat me. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> this is absolutely stupid. But um, if he can't get past my pawns, he can't beat me. So I hope he pushes b5. b5 is brilliant. b5, come on, play b5. No, don't checkmate me. Uh-oh. I think he can get past my pawns with his extra queen. We could have a problem here. Oh, no. Guess I have to give up. He took that pawn, and I have no hope. <clears throat> Six minutes left in the tournament. Chess was 22nd place, not too impressive. Lose, lose, win, win, lose, win, lose. This is not what you should do in these tournaments. It turns out if you win three in a row, you get extra points. And if you just win every other, there is no reward for like being an even keel kind of dude who just kind of wins half his games. There is no like evenness streak bonus. So I'm not really getting any bonuses for that. I'm kind of sad about that. F4. And this is the opening I'm playing this tournament. I'll just leave all that there, see what happens. Oh no, you pushed. What am I gonna do? I'll castle both directions. It works. I did that once in 1954. I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't checkmated for years. I don't know what to say. My, my, I have no punchline, okay? I did it in 1954, period. That's all. That's all. What am I doing? Queen C1, it's strong. Just trust me. <laughs> just trust me. This is a great position for Queen C1. My name is, is, um, Andre Filidor. Filidor. And that's that's how I know it's good. You heard of him? He's dead. Never mind. He's literally dead. It's not like he's dead meat because his opponent has checkmated him. He's actually in the ground dead, so don't listen to him. If he's making a sound, just run away. 
Okay, which way should I castle now? I think kingside. Oh my rook! I guess I'll castle kingside. I've decided on kingside. Now that I've noticed, ooh, now that I've noticed my, ooh, is my, my rook is missing. Totally made my decision. Kingside. So what are we looking at? Down like a rook. That's better than average, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Oh, rook and pawn. That's, that's worse than average now. What can I do to this guy besides lose to him? Yeah. I see I've got some things pointing right at his king. Look at that. My bishop, my bishop's pointing at him if you squint. So this will this will work. There's some problems with rook c1 check, so I'll cover that, of course. I'm a genius, I, I noticed that, because geniuses notice this rook c1. I resign. Stupid chess. Who wants to play chess on the internet anyway? Not me. Stupid chess. This is stupid, and it's also chess. E4, E5, E6. E6 so strong. No, not this game. Next game I'll play E6 as white. The four pawns attack. It's a very well-named opening because the four pawns, well, you know what they do, of course. They attack. It's great. Oh, I have to take with pawn. But I did. Oh, I have to not take at all. But I didn't. Oh, this is bad. Stupid chess whiz. Can't even play bishop E3. Now he's down a pawn. My only move, I don't have a move is queen e2, guarding the pawn. Queen e2, brilliant. <laughs> Please, Paul. Am I like triple digit rating or something here? Because it seems like I'm just like blundering things and stuff, you know, it's not very good. Maybe if I take his rook, that'll work. Yeah, take this pawn, it's totally free. It's totally, nothing's guarding it. Ooh. Ooh, this could get interesting. I can still castle either direction. You better take this pawn. Ooh, could get spicy. What's happening? I'm only down 100 pawns, so this could work. Let's just keep blundering things and see what happens. Mm. Oh, what a mistake. Mistake, buddy. Um, nine seconds for the whole game. That's plenty of time. Oh, my rook's not on c1? I imagined it there. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm going to checkmate him anyway. <laughs> Man, chess whiz, the day, yes! Rook b3, checkmate! Oh, good move, chess whiz. Yes, this is a great opening, guys. You should all lose your d-pawn followed by your e-pawn followed by knight b5 threatening a fork. The opponent will definitely move his king like this, and he's forced to do it, because if he doesn't, he might win. So that'll pretty much work for you. I love it. Very good play. Whew. Wow, good game. Two minutes left in the tournament. <clears throat> Two minutes left. That's enough time for another chess game. Let's play chess. I love chess. Chess is so smart. It's not stupid at all. It's definitely smart. Let's play this Alex 63. He's got a lot of points in his rating. D4, D5. I can do this. I can just move these things a little bit. Bishop goes here. This bishop goes here. Oh, this is pleasant. I'm enjoying this opening. What about castling? Yes, I castled! Better than Blitzstream. Wait, he castles too, never mind. Uh, here. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, there's a rook across from my queen. I'm not comfortable with this. Ooh, queen d6. I admitted that myself. No one else would play it. Um, rooks, I guess. Move some rooks around. I know what I'll do. I'll trade bishops, yes. And then I'll move my bishop over here and checkmate him. This could work. Hold still, buddy. I'm check. Oh. Uh, I'm getting an attack going right here. I mean, his bishop's locked out. Let's move everything over here. Maybe knight up here. Knight, sacrifice some things. Let's do it. Uh, what are you doing? Mm, yeah, he's definitely worried. That's why I got myself pawn forked. Wait. He, he could pawn fork me. Okay, definitely aggressive play by Chess Wiz. It looks like my rook is stuck now. Let's see if he just takes my free pawn or if he takes my rook, which is trapped. I don't know which one he's going to do. Uh, it's a difficult position now. I guess I should just run out of time. Let's try this move. As I could get back rank checkmate. That's a pretty advanced strategy. Let's try this. Okay, so now I'm just down a pawn. This is a good play. This is great, right? If I play here, then he doesn't know what to do. Oh no, I hung my checkmate. That's not very good. Uh, <clears throat> I guess that was a small error down a rook. No. 
But there's still a chance for me. I could take this rook and this bishop. And, oh, it's, I'm in check. Never mind. This could work. Uh, what, what's my move? What's my winning move right now? You know there is one. Oh, I can't win. He's going to get my queen. I have to give up. Man, I almost had that game too. If only I had a first almost gotten forked, but he didn't see it. And then got my rook trapped, but he didn't see it. And then hung my pawn and hung my rook. I would have won that if that hadn't happened. Would have would have been great. So it looks like Chesspis has no winning streaks. Win, win, lose, lose, win, win, lose, win, lose, lose, win, lose. Perfect. Perfect evenness. Look at this. 50. Ooh, the music is for me. 50% exactly. Can you see that behind the uh, giant website? Yes, 50%. Yes, that was a perfect tournament. I bet these other guys didn't get 50%. Like, let's look at the guy right next to me. You would think the co-pilot would get 50% because he's right next to me. But look at this. Look at this. Just for example, 42. That's not 50. Or let's look at the guy on the other side. The guy I totally beat. I did better than him because I have 13 points. He has only 12. It's like Skata, Stofa, Falsau. This guy, 71%. Totally not 50. My consistency is consistent. That's the whole stream. There's nothing more. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, then don't come back. But if you did, you can follow the Twitch channel because I stream three times a week for a super short amount of time. Or you can go to YouTube and yell at your screen for a while. This has been Chesswiz TV. Thanks for watching.